If you're pregnant and you're affected by acne, then this video is for you. In this video, we're going to be talking about what causes flare-ups of acne during pregnancy, five things that you can do at home to help manage it, and we'll also discuss treatment options. If you do enjoy this video and you learn something new, please remember to consider liking the video as well as subscribing to the channel. Now, during pregnancy, the severity of acne can improve or it can get worse. It's very common for acne to get a bit worse in early pregnancy, typically during the first trimester, and for it to improve as the pregnancy progresses. This may relate to increased levels of certain hormones that are present in pregnancy, which could contribute to excessive production of oil, which is known as sebum. It's also important to remember that pregnancy acne isn't a special form of acne, it's just like any other regular old acne that you got before you became pregnant, and some women happen to have severe flares of acne throughout pregnancy. So, if you're experiencing troublesome acne during pregnancy, what are five things you can do at home to help manage this? Well, number one is to wash problematic areas with a gentle cleanser. Twice a day, use your hands to wash your face with mild soap and warm water. You should take care to avoid certain products, such as facial scrubs, because these tend to irritate skin and worsen acne. Excessive washing and scrubbing can also irritate skin, so try not to do this more than twice a day. Next, it's really important to shampoo regularly. If you tend to develop acne around your hairline, shampoo your hair every day with a gentle, fragrance-free shampoo. Number three, I know it might be tempting, but please don't pick or squeeze blemishes. Doing so can cause infection or scarring. Tip number four is to avoid irritants. So don't use oily or greasy cosmetics, sunscreens, hair styling products or acne concealers. It's much better to use products labelled water-based, which means they're less likely to cause acne. Finally, watch what touches your skin. Try to keep your hair clean and off your face, and also try to avoid resting your hands or objects on your face. Tight clothing or hats can pose a problem, especially if you're sweating, which can contribute to acne. Now, these are just five of the tips that I recommend, but if you've got any others that have worked for you and you'd like to share them with this community, then please do put a comment in the comment section to help your fellow future mums, and I'd love to hear from you because often I've got to see pregnant women clinic who come to see me, and it's great to have real-world tips that I can use. So now that we've covered these five tips on home management, I'm sure you're wondering, can I take any medications for acne if it's really bad and not going away by itself? Well, on the whole, it's preferable to avoid drugs in pregnancy in case they have an effect on the growing baby. Still, some patients do want to know what treatments are safe during pregnancy. Well, it's quite tricky to answer this because the relative lack of safety data from research studies can make it difficult to advise on treatment of acne in pregnancy using drugs. But in general, most experts agree that topical treatments, which are things like creams that you rub onto the skin, can be used safely in pregnancy, and these include benzoyl peroxide, azelaic acid, low concentration topical salicylic acid preparations, which are no more than 2%, and in certain circumstances, some topical antibiotics and oral erythromycin might be prescribed if the acne is severe. However, it would be really important to discuss the risks and benefits of all of these preparations with your health provider and seek their expert opinion before taking any of these medications. Now, there are certain medications which are considered to be unsafe during pregnancy, and these must be avoided. And this is because they can cause birth defects. So these include topical and oral retinoids, which are vitamin A preparations. These are things like tretinoin, isotretinoin, and adapalene. There's a risk that if these are taken, it can result in fetal retinoid syndrome, which can cause abnormalities of the craniofacial, central nervous system, and cardiovascular system. You should also avoid high concentration salicylic acid, and that's because it's related to aspirin. So taking the oral form of this medication is not advised during pregnancy because there are risks around kidney development and the baby's circulation. Spironolactone is also advised against. That's because it risks malformation of the male baby's genitals. And oral medications called tetracyclines, such as doxycycline, minocycline, and limecycline, because these may discolour the teeth of a baby. Other oral antibiotics, such as trimethoprim and fluoroquinolones, are also advised against. That's because they're teratogenic if taken during early or mid-pregnancy, and there's a risk of miscarriage or severe birth deformities. There are lots of other medications that you should avoid, and you should speak to your pharmacist or doctor about these. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please remember to like the video, leave me a comment if you've got any thoughts or top tips on managing acne in pregnancy, and please subscribe to the channel for weekly medical education videos if you haven't done so already. Please also check out the references and resources that I use to make this video, which can be found in the description box. 
Finally, I do have to stress that this is designed as an educational video, not a clinical advice video. And for legal reasons, please read the full disclaimer in the description box of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye.